So, but then let us go back to Cameroon. Um, now your country is, our country is at war and you are a writer and you are not on the ground, you are in the diaspora. How does, I mean, how do you engage with the current barbarity, you know, in which a land, a country that was uh, either erroneously or rightfully referred to as an island of peace now, you know, uh, flares up in flames. Uh, how has that reality, you know, uh, some sort of caught you as an author. I mean, do you some sort of feel important? Or what what do you what are you doing? How has it conditioned your reflexes as an author? I will tell you this: that at the beginning of the war, at the beginning of the crisis, especially when um, the young okay young boys from um, from Anglophone Cameroon took up arms. I know they were pushed to that level. And uh, things really got out of hand. For the first time, we were seeing bodies, you know. Every, every day, you know, casualties were mounting. I felt helpless. I felt helpless. But I'm not Christopher Kibo. I'm not trying to pick up arms and join anybody uh, to fight. I think that I have uh, found a space for myself. And that space is to bear witness somebody's got to tell like uh, chino achebe puts it this the story is our escort you know literature is our escort when all is said and done somebody has to tell what happened and so i have decided that my role during this time would be to be part of that collective uh, recording of our of our people's story how they how they're feeling how how they how they are negotiating one thing about uh, human beings is that no matter how dire the situation is no matter how horrible the situation is we are resilient we are resilient when i when i went to colombia in uh, 2012 before i came to colombia i had heard all sorts of stories i thought that when i come there i wouldn't see people laughing enjoying and stuff but people are resilient the people of colombia are resilient the people of cameroon are resilient the people Anglophone Cameroon are resilient. And we are supposed to record that the story of their struggle, of their suffering, of their death, but also of their resilience. You know, and so for me, I as an author, I have chosen to bear witness to what is going on, to some of them on the ground, their voices have been clipped. I'm far away, my voice has not been clipped. So I'm going to use that voice for them. I'm far away. Nobody has taken my pen. So I can, I'm going to use that pen for them. And that is how I doing that. That is why we, I co-edited this volume, Bearing Witness. This, this is the poetry collection. It came out in uh, 2020. We are now working on the uh, stories, short stories and nonfiction, you know, from um, uh, collecting voices, you know, from this work.